hello everyone welcome back to get droid tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix crashing issue on manual lots if you're having many many more issues such as stuck on loading screen freezing stuttering lagging low fps drop you can try this videos and steps in this video so the first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart for this we just need to go over in the start icon over here click on this particular power icon go for a restart so once restart is done just try launching the game so restart can fix a lot of issue so restart is you know like i said you should not be neglecting this step you can start with a simple restart after done with this if you're having the issue the next one is all about we have to read rename delete open xr that is what we have to do so to do this just go over here in the game file right click and click on manage and we have to navigate to browse local files and from here what we need to do is we just need to navigate to the engine now from here navigate to the binaries go for win 64 and from here what we need to do is we just need to select the open xr not from here i'll not be able to see the open xr okay just go over here let me go back not win 64 select third party and select open xr and go for win 64 and this is open xr right so now what we need to do is as you can see we just need to rename this one from open xr just rename this is go over to show more options now select this one right click and go to show more options just go over here and go for a rename so you can rename the open xr to open xr old or you can say open xr one or you can type anything is fine just change this to open xr old or whatever it is and once you change it this one to a new name so once you change the open xr to for example old let me do like this open xr old is saved once you save it this you just need to try launch the game and still if you're having the trouble you can also delete this one you can also delete it and keep in mind when you're deleting this you have to take a complete backup of the original file you can take the backup of the original file and you can copy paste somewhere else here in the desktop afterwards you delete the open xr i mean you change this one to operate open xr old you can delete it make sure that you have take a complete backup once afterwards try launch the game most probably that will be working if after changing the open xr old still if it's not working we can delete this one and afterwards we have taken a backup of the files right that file can be copied and pasted over here and you can try launch the game both are fine so once after done with this one try launch the game still if you are having the trouble we can move to the next one that is all about we have to remove the fsr that is mlaa mode fsr from the config file so to do this just go over here go to the file explorer now from here navigate to this pc go to local disk c now from here we have to navigate to users and now from here we have to navigate to public sorry not this one go to the rog now from here what we need to do is we just need to go for app data we have you have to find uh, somewhere else you will be able to find the app data So next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. So that is why we are having the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So to launch the game from the installation folder, what we need to do is we just need to uh, in order to do this, just click over here, go to the properties, navigate to install it file and just click on the browse. So that will take you to this PC over here. If you check at the top, there is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, my node lots. So this is the folder. So just now launch the game from here. So launching the game from the installation folder is what it worked for many users. So you can try this out. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one that we have to run the game as an administrator. And also we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game as administrator, just go over here and right click and go to show more options, go to the properties, go for compatibility and now click on run this program as administrator. 
and we have to go for apply and also we have to click on this one run this program in the compatibility mode make sure this is not on windows 7 if it is on windows 7 you have to go for windows 7 or if it is on windows 8 you have to go for windows 8 try either windows 7 or windows 8 go for apply and go for ok once you're done with this one just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to make sure the date time region is correct so just go over here in the search navigate to settings now go over here in the settings now from here go to time and language go for date and time make sure the time zone automatically and time automatically should be turned on and also you have to turn this on as well now we just need to go back go to the language and region now from here what we need to do is we just need to make sure the country is according to geography so you have to select this one and select united states or you have to select this one to united kingdom or whatever it is you can do according to the you can do the configuration according to yours so once you set this up we just need to close this and we have to go back and we have to try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but even this worker for many users you can try this out just launch the game press alt and tab from the keyboard so you can try this out Next one is all about nothing but we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. We have to navigate to the documents and over here you can see the folder. So if you find the folder for the manor lots when you started playing the game saving each progressions you will be able to see this and delete the respective folder. And once after it is successfully deleted you can just go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the search go for the control panel go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to manor lots so keep scrolling down and if you find the manor lots over here if you find the manor lots make sure both the private and public both has to be marked so imagine if it's not marked then what we need to do is we need to add the game by default so just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to manor lots just keep scrolling down and navigate to minor lots over here select this one and we can go for open and add it i'm getting the error because the game is already added that is why i'm getting the error once it's successfully done just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of peripherals you might be connected with you know uh, usb ports might be uh, i mean joysticks might be connected additional controllers might be connected all these might be connected so which is causing the issue so just unplug everything once everything is unplugged you have to try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for system configuration search for system configuration click on this one now from here go to the services go for hide all microsoft services and go for enable all go for uh, hide all microservices go for disable all go for apply and go for ok once afterwards we just need to go over and exit without restart but here the users who are watching this you have to go for restart because we're in the middle of shooting so once afterwards just go for exit without restart and afterwards try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go over here in the install it file not here general Make sure if this is turn it off, we have to turn this on. So if it is turn it on, we have to turn this off. Try launch the game. Next one, we have to give the commands in the launch option. The first command is DX11. That is what we have to do. The DX11 is what we have to do as the first command. Next one is all about we have to start with DX12. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to start with DX12 will be working in most cases or you can try D3, D2 that can also be done. D3, D2 is also working for many users. We can try these steps as well. Once afterwards done, just close this and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over here, right click over here in the start manager, click on the task manager over here. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. 
and all these things are actually utilizing the performance of a computer and that is why we are having the crashing issue so we'll be having the crashing issue one by one so afterwards what we need to do is you can see if many things are running in the background at the same time if you're launching the game like this you'll be definitely having the crashing crashing issue so just remove the unwanted things for example river tuner msa afterburner msa afterburner all these kind of things can be removed once everything is removed just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here go to graphics settings now from here as you can see this is the game so we can add the game over here so now what we need to do is we just need to click over here in the browse now we just need to go over here in this pc now we can add the game just click on the game just go to the program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here what we need to do is just keep scrolling down and navigate to minor lots and just select this one and go for add so once the game is already added if it's already added i think it's already added so just click on the option over here make sure this is by default this is be let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you change this to high performance close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game the next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the game search for view advanced system settings just click on this one and go to the advanced settings once again advanced once again and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk c go for the custom size and we have to go for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and we have to go for the maximum size that is 3 times the total ram so just go over here go to the calculator so type your ram so just type your ram that 32 gb is my ram i have to multiply it with 1024 and that is 32768 multiply it with 1 point so 32768 you have to multiply initial size that is uh how much it is it is 1.5 so multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 so this is the particular value where we have to copy and paste next one is the maximum size that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and once the value is been set and just click uh, just tap over here close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game after increasing the virtual memory you can also try updating the windows just go over here search for settings now go over here in the system now from here go to windows update make sure the windows is up to date so if you are having any kind of cumulative updates like this and if you are having any updates over here just update everything and once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh do is we just need to update the graphics card so just go over here in the game go to the uh, nvidia graphics card over here so you can see this is the nvidia graphics card and this is the product type product series product operating system language etc so the geforce is what we have to take and just go over here you can select windows 11 and also you select everything over here correct just go for start search and afterwards when you go for the start search what we need to do is we'll be getting the latest released versions that is 552.22 this is the latest released version which is on april 16 2024 download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game just go over here if you're on the uh, amd just select everything like your graphics cards can be selected and everything should be selected and once afterwards download the respective driver and download as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here in the game go to the manage and uninstall the game you can try reinstalling it back and also you can try verify integrity of game file which is a very important step so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and you know you'll not be having these kind of trouble so if any files are corrupted we'll be having this trouble so just wait for this one to reach 100 percentage
So once you're done with this one, just everything is done. Just click over here and you can try launch the game. And these are the possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon on the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.